Today, hundreds of dock workers with the ILA union and the South Carolina AFL-CIO and service workers rallied outside the South Carolina State House to demand Governor Henry McMaster stop attempts to break the master contract, an agreement obligating port authorities to employ union labor at docks across the U.S. This master contract has been signed by the Longshoremen's Unions in every international port between Maine to Texas. The only challenge to the master contract is by South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster. The agreement ensures all goods loaded and unloaded at ports are done by unionized workers. Charleston, South Carolina's newly constructed Hugh Leatherman Terminal has sat unused for months because of McMaster's attempts to break the agreement. Unionized dock workers with the ILA Union Local 1422 are the backbone of Charleston's black middle class, earning excellent wages and benefits, in contrast with millions of other service workers in South Carolina and across the South. South Carolina has the lowest percentage of unionized workers in the country at 1.7%. By attempting to break the master agreement, Governor McMaster and other anti-union politicians are attempting to eliminate one of the last remaining bastions of unionized labor in South Carolina. But workers are not backing down. Instead, workers are stepping up. Dock workers are demanding the same pay and working conditions for all current and future dock workers in South Carolina and throughout the nation. We will not let politicians prevent workers from getting basic dignity and respect.